Okay, just talk about your ability to deal with Brandon. It seems like y'all are, that relationship's growing on the field. You feel like you know where he's going and he knows where you're going. All right, you know, our relationship has been there since day one, but I think, you know, um, as we progress in the season, he's getting more confidence and the coaches are getting more confidence in his ability. And, um, you know, he's playing great right now. You know, the weather wasn't what we wanted it to be tonight, but we still made plays through the air and through the, uh, on the ground when we had to. And, um, you know, we got the victories tonight. Passing game the last three games seems like to keep coming and keep, keep coming. You feel like y'all are coming? Definitely. I feel like, you know, each game we keep getting better and better and the confidence is growing. And, uh, you know, in a game like this where the weather wasn't optimal, we still performed to, uh, with the situation that we had. So, you know, that was another thing that was a confidence boost. Um, we're just going to continue to keep getting better. You look forward to two weeks from now? Definitely. You know, it's a game that, you know, everybody has marked on their calendar. Um, a year from when it happened. So uh, definitely a game that I'm looking forward to. And we have two weeks of preparation to prepare for, and I know we'll practice hard and uh, we'll be ready. It seems like you guys have been getting that balance a little bit to closer to, to run pass each week. And how important is that to see that going into this Alabama game? It's very important because, you know, we're going to be facing a great defense in Alabama. And, uh, you know, giving the ball to Leonard is a great thing. And he makes plays out of, a lot of times when there's, you know, not a play to be made because he's just that good. But, you know, going into a game like that, you have to have balance. And, uh, you know, and without that, you know, it would be very hard to beat a team like this. So, you know, with that being said, we're going to work hard these next two weeks to prepare for it. And we'll be ready. And after the Eastern Michigan game, do you feel like you guys have really, uh, you know, that was a tough game for y'all, but y'all have gotten better each week and really kind of showed what you're able to do? Right, definitely. You know, Eastern Michigan game wasn't the game that you want to, we want to dwell on or uh, reflect back on, but it still is in the back of our minds. We know that happened, but we don't want that to happen again. Uh, you know, we underperformed big time in that game. Uh, but that game showed it's not, you know, it's not me and Traven. You know, that's, that's not us at all. So, you know, we just prepare hard each week and don't take any team lightly. And, you know, keep building off what we had the previous week. How hard is it to execute the passing game when it's raining like it was this first half? Um, honestly, I haven't really played in the rain that much since high school. And I forgot how hard it is to catch the passes like that. And, and warm ups, you know, it was very shaky, but it was, it was you know, downpour and we were warming up. And, you know, my game time is psyched off a little bit. But this is one of those things that if you're a receiver and you're a quarterback, you know, before the game, I said, Brandon, you're going to be good. He said, yeah, man, you know, that's what I do. I throw the ball. So whatever the climate is, I have to be there. And, uh, you know, catching the football is just one of those focused things. But when it's raining, you have to be extra focused and look the ball and then squeeze it and hit your hands. How was the footing? The footing wasn't that bad at all. You know, the footing was – the worst part about it was the cleats were very heavy because they were wet. But the actual uh, foot in itself on the grass wasn't that bad. If you got your feet in the ground, you know, the grass wasn't coming up that much. You know, so but the ground screw did a good job keeping that field together. What does a night like tonight or a play like that do for a young kid like Tyron who first big play? Uh, uh, I remember when I first made my first touchdown. Um, and I know the emotion that I was going through, but he made a huge play in a big game like that. I just remember running up to him because I know what he was feeling. I know exactly what he was feeling. So I ran up to him, and he ran right past me. So I grabbed this little butt from the back, and I said, man, congratulations. That's so all I wanted to tell you. I want you to enjoy it more. But congratulations, because I know what it feels like. And once you get that one out of the way, it's kind of like, you know, what's next? You know, when you get that first touchdown, before you get the first one, it's like, you know, I haven't scored yet. I haven't scored yet. So when is it going to happen? But once it finally happens, it's like, all right, I got my first one under my belt. So let me keep getting better. Is he settling into that number three role that he kind of got put in a few weeks ago? Uh, I feel like he is. And I feel like, you know, Traven and John are so both uh, great guys that we can go to and are reliable also. Um, but I think Tyron's doing a good job of doing doing what he's asked to do right now at this particular time. And I feel like he'll continue to grow in the future too. Brandon set career highs.